back here with another video. Um, before we get started, I guess I uh, just like to say, uh, sorry for the person who was watching my um videos. I uh kind of stopped for a little while due to school. I ain't gonna lie, I just stopped a little while, but you know what? I back here. You know, let me just get back into the video. But um, I'm reacting to uh, TLC's um, Cheapskates. Sorry if I feel, I sound a little slow because I I kind of sick a little bit. But let's get into the video. I love being married to Mason, even though he is a cheapskate and he drives me absolutely crazy at times. I have alerts that tell me uh, whenever money's being spent on the credit or debit cards so that I can make sure that Christina's not spending money on things that don't really need to be bought. He's special. <laughs> He's definitely special. What's going on? I just got an alert. You're over at coffee time. What's the, what are you doing at coffee time? Iced tea. Iced tea? Four dollars for an iced tea? Christina still has some lessons to learn, you know, about, you know, sticking to the budget. You could have bought a whole box of iced tea, and it would last us for an entire month for $4. We've talked about this frivolous spending. I mean, we're, like, almost maxed out in the budget for the month. Come on. Is that all you call me for? Yes. But I think a lot of that does have to do with his family and, that, and the way that he was raised. In the Roberts family, saving money means more than careful budget tracking. It's reducing costs in every way possible. Oh, no. It just seemed like such a waste of... Oh, to wait, no. I didn't just see what I just see. No. Uh-uh. It just seemed like such a waste to only you... That don't sound that that ain't right. Like that that ain't right. No. No way. I just think some of these people crazy though, I ain't gonna lie. I think some of them just crazy. To tell the truth, it yeah, that's probably what they are. Just crazy. But you know, no, nobody, no nobody, you know. Nobody, you know. Use my washer and then uh, put it back. Mm -mm, no way. I mean, we can't just not adopt. Uh, mouthwash once when it's antiseptic anyways. There's 30 uses in that big mouthwash and about 30 cents a use. But if I reuse it a second time, that gets it down to 15 cents a use because I'll have 60 uses. I just keep two bottles, one with the brand new stuff and one with the once used stuff. This one, though, is Christina's mouthwash because she doesn't. But you always could tell the crazy people, you know, you see how you said, you know, like, like, go on. You know, you could use... 30 washes but um i'm using 60. like come on dog look you can always see it in the stuff i'm using 60 washes no what is do that like no, to do what, what i do, do that? but yeah. i think it's great my boy get off christina was well, left to her own watch. devices with spending uh, probably be a pretty ugly That's picture <laughs> knows why I won't drive my car. When we went to pick it up after the oil change and the guy said that you needed to fix the car, he was said it was a safety issue. The mechanic said the car has issues and he won't address them. He won't take it seriously. And so it's highly annoying. I do take it seriously. Well, more than annoying, it's kind of scary. I do take it seriously. I just understand what maintenance needs to be done and what maintenance are just trying to sell you. I can't continue to get rides when I'm going. The real question cousin. what I just want to ask is how these people could stay with these people. Like, I can't see myself saying, you know what? I love this person, so I can spit back in a mo wash. Tell me if you would spit back in a mo wash just because you love the person. Come on, man. Nobody doing that. Nobody doing that. Joe to come look at it for free. 
I don't want to die because my husband is too cheap to repair my car. Oh, hey, see my new project? Are you going to put that in your shop? No. Sorry for pausing the video, but listen, we have to, you know, see that that's crazy. What if they have guests and they just say, and you know, regular niggas, they can ask for more washing. Me like, oh, hey, you get some more washing. Just, you know, I mean, you had some tuna salad, you know, regular. Let me use some more wash. Oh, yeah, hey, bud. I got you. You stay so alone. Uh-uh. No, think about that. Think about that, though. No, that's nasty. That's nasty. Oh, it's gonna go down in the den. No, don't try it yet. It's not done. That I'm is not you. going in our house. The irony of the whole situation is that we don't need to be this extreme. We have a good savings account. He's very tight with the budget. The budget is the budget. Because that's, that's the way it. a budget works. If you that's go over budget, the then there's no works. point in having to one. To me, a budget is we agree to spend or to try to spend this much or under. I believe that a budget is a budget, and when you get to the end of it, you have to stop spending until your budget, budget starts over. That's budget. how a budget works. Christina <laughs> wants to make filet mignon chili for the family oh, barbecue. And to me, it just makes no sense. Something wrong. We, we skip coffee because we, we can't get what that. I can't get what that idea is, you know? And I think after the mo wash, I guess just like. After the mo wash thing, I just say, you know what? I I don't think it could get, it could get worse than this. I don't, I don't, uh, if it get worse than this, something wrong, crazy, you see, my boy ain't even getting no steps, he yet, a block, a block, and let's not even talk, but the seat, listen, the seat, okay then, you want let me. Yeah, that'll work, thank you, and uh, how about the yogurts, can we uh, take those? Actually, since these expired yesterday, I'm not allowed to sell those, Oh, really? I've never really had anybody try to buy the food that was out of date before. I wouldn't want to sell somebody something that wouldn't be good for their health. It seemed like he was just looking for a deal. We didn't need uh, black pepper. Okay. You told me to get pepper. No, I told you to get white pepper. I had a coupon. When it comes to anything regarding money, he has tunnel vision and all he can see is the savings. And it's maddening. The filet mignon is really, really expensive. Use the venison. By hunting and fishing, I figure we save at least six or seven hundred dollars a year in, in uh, cost of meat. I wish you would just stop being so cheap and buy beef at the grocery store like everyone else. I've eaten so much venison, like I am just sick of it. If I had bought all the ingredients on Christina's chili list, it would have been like a hundred dollar pot of chili, and that's just crazy. I should have known. You're my husband. This is what you do. By buying what I bought for the chili, it's going to be like an $8 pot of chili instead. $100 chili. Oh. Every year we have a family oh. reunion and we just get together. Oh, let's talk about it. See what I see? See what I see? You have guests to your house. Wow. Uh, they supposed to eat $100 worth of chili, man, dog. I ain't gonna lie to you, $100 worth of chili, yeah, that's true. That's cool. That's what you can say, yo. We got a $8 for the chili. I think you can do it. You thought just now nah, that, that that was for them. That was for them. Look, but look, I ain't crazy. It's, I just talked about this previously. Seriously, that? First, he, he was doing the mo wash. Nah, he making, listen, look, he went to the store, bought some older dated things, listen, uh, happy new year's, it's January the 2nd, this nigga bought, this nigga 20, whatever this is, 2007, buying stuff from 05, to cook for people, head ain't good hang out <laughs> and it's just uh, really a lot of fun that's the first reunion that she's coming to so she'll find out that it's not just me that's cheap but that it's the end <laughs> they laugh and they eating so much like that ain't even good for them they run they're laughing they ain't even know they had bad dope nice to meet you we're good 
got chili that Christina made. It's got venison from last fall in it, so mmm, good. Food and alcohol costs at large family gatherings can be hundreds of dollars. By eating chili made from local venison and drinking homemade no, beer no. and wine, the Roberts family throws their reunion for only no, about nice. $30. It smells pretty good. Okay. Doesn't it? Did you make this? Uh -huh. You did? Mm -hmm. So good. That tastes oh, good. How you like it? Hey, what are you on there? <laughs> How much were your shoes? My shoes were like... Nothing. They were like $6, I think. <laughs> we made the t-shirts. Yeah. Like, like what? Like cheap. Not cheap. Thrifty. Yeah, we just we say, just we just like to save money. Yeah. <laughs> oh. The family that I was born into, I think. Oh, I understand that. Everybody eating their daughter's chili. Because this is the farm. Just what he's talking about. She thinks he get hit. Oh, my boy. She thinks that he gets it from the family. Come on, man. I didn't know why it didn't click. My bad. My bad. Slow. I pretty much was destined to be frugal. I love being married Slow. to Mason. But let me tell you, if you're going to marry a cheapskate, make sure that you're ready for it. Because behind every cheapskate is an entire family of cheapskates. <laughs> Come on, man. So what I was saying in the video. I was finished with the video when I saw the mo wash day. I, I I don't understand. I I I don't even know what to say. Just listen. If there's entity in that, everybody here, but I thought it was just one person. Everybody is doing. All of them gonna have a pot of eight dollars chili. That's just nasty though. Like like no way. I I can see all in the next video. Because I have the point over that. Peace.